Hey guys, Zorgi Sancho and welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and you're all hyped and ready for that Diablo 4 beta coming later today. Finally giving us access to the Necromancer and the Druid. I know I am. I really can't wait to deep dive into the Necromancer and just see everything that is available with the class. But in this video I want to share with you guys just a couple of tips and tricks on how to actually get through the beta really nice and easy. Some stuff you should look out for and do as well as the location of all the leather statues as that will give you some skill points to further try out the build in the beta. But before we get into that I just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor. Exit Lag. I am sure you guys have heard of them. If you have not, it's a program that optimizes your connection to over a thousand of your favorite games including Lost Dark, Diablo 3 and soon to be Diablo 4. It's a proxy and tunneling service that works better than a VPN to help reduce lag, packet loss and improve your ping while gaming. Exit lag solved many connection problems in the closed beta including some login problems. So prepare now for the upcoming open beta with exit lag which is already very well optimized for Diablo 4. The team will be dedicated to giving you the best Diablo 4 experience possible. Just head over to their website and download the program to try it out free for 3 days and if you like it the annual subscription has a huge discount when compared to the monthly sub fees. I would highly suggest getting the annual version if you are interested. Use my link down below or the QR code up on screen. Download the program now and stop lagging in your games. A huge thanks to Exit Lag for sponsoring this video. Alright so let's hop into it. I have a build guide here for you guys on max roll. There is build guides for all three current classes that were open in the last beta but I believe on the launch of the open beta later today they should have their druid and necromancer up as well. It's really nice and easy just come here open this picture and then it shows you what level to take what builds over there or what skills. It's really nice and all of these builds I did have a look through all of them really solid and good for just leveling up and getting through the beta as fast as possible and then having some fun with it at the end. But the build diversity in Diablo is pretty nice. You can really play around with whatever you find. If you find a legendary that boosts something, change your build and try it out because now in the beta obviously is the time to try out all the different versions and do your own stuff. And then I suggest as well, just complete the act, the campaign of Act 1. That will get you to about level 14 if you only like straight up follow the campaign without doing any side content. But I would definitely suggest doing side quests along the way. If you see a dungeon with some aspect in it, or even if it doesn't have an aspect, just go in and clear the dungeon. That's a good way of XP and loot as well throughout the beta. So all the dungeons around the map, they're pretty interesting. Go through all the dungeons, do the side quests. There'll be like public events popping up. You want to do those as well. And then focus on finishing off the campaign. I believe it's the whole Act 1 campaign we do actually get to see. So yeah, finish that off. That's pretty cool and interesting, the story. And then also just gets you into the game and gets you going with everything understanding how it all works and then something you need to start preparing for is the world boss will be spawning on saturday so tomorrow i have the times down below here it spawns saturday 10 a.m pst you just have to convert that just type in google 10 a.m pst to my time it will literally give you the time for your time zone if you're not sure on that so saturday 10 a.m pst we got a spawn saturday 12 p.m so like noon we got another spawn and then Saturday 10 p.m. at night PST we have a spawn and then Sunday 12 a.m. PST which I assume is just Saturday midnight obviously they got to put it as Sunday because it's like going over or it could be Sunday 12 in the morning or 12 at night I'm not exactly sure I have to put that I think that might actually be Sunday at noon that's a little bit confusing but I'll put it on the computer later and figure it out so you want to get to at least level 20 before you go and try and do this world boss preferably level 25 because you won't be doing much damage to it and you'll just get one shot by everything at level 20 or lower so get at least level 20 before you get in there and everyone around you is not going to really appreciate your presence so much but overall the boss fight is pretty easy when he does the big cleave as i'm showing on the screen right now you literally just got to run into the melee hitbox so that it cleaves around you and doesn't actually hit you and then that's pretty much all there is to it everything else is self-explanatory dodge the puddles dodge the like slash oh and when he does the two like where he punches his hands on the ground he'll do like a swipe backwards and he'll just kill everybody in the middle of him so you want to stand to the sides of that as well so that is the world boss those are the times and then also as well there will be these things called the little statues i have a picture over here for you guys it's these little statues that you'll start collecting all over the map you actually get the first one i think this over here is the first one number two that's where the like first quest will lead you. That's the first little waypoint you'll get and the quest will start in that area. 
And then this over here is the first one you'll actually just find because it's literally as you walk out the quest, right in the beginning in the intro, that's right there. You pick it up and then you collect it. And if you collect enough of these, you'll get renown to level up your renown with the fractured peaks pretty much. And then eventually that will give you two skill points. I believe it gives you potion slot or something as well. It gives you gold, it gives you XP. So you should definitely go ahead and pick all of these up in the beta to just get all of those. And each of these actually give you a little um, stat to your whole account. So if you make other characters, they'll get it as well. Like they give you bonus to dexterity, intelligence, vitality, I think there was as well. And all kinds of stuff. You definitely want to pick them all up. This is the picture in the background for you guys to go ahead. So I'll leave it up for you guys. You can pause the video, go check it out. And the like numbers of here is like a good little route to take pretty much. So one, two, three, and you want to work your way there to four and you go up to five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And you kind of work yourself around the map like this. And the numbers is more or less like how you'll unlock the map or you can you can literally just explore as you see fit as soon as you finish the intro in that city over there you can just walk up and literally explore where you want so you could either go ahead and explore or get all of these statues right away since the mobs are level scaled so they scale to your level so you'll never be in like a zone that's gonna outscale actually there is a couple of zones that do have some mobs but you can just avoid them so I would suggest just going through the story normally, finish the campaign, do the dungeons, and then come back once you have some free time and pick up all of the statues or the Lilith so you can get all of the bonus goodies. And that's all I really have for you guys in this video. So just start preparing, choose your class, choose your build. There is a default planner as well. I guess I could share with that, that with you guys over here, the default builder. I'll share this down below in the description for you guys so you can check it out for the necromancer and the druid but as far as i know as soon as the, the beta goes live then the builds should be up on max roll as well for both of these classes so anybody looking at playing the necro and the druid should have a build guide for them there or you can just do your own stuff and play with whatever build you figure out yourself or whatever legendaries you find to boost that build as well as come to my channel because I will be posting tons of builds as soon as I figure them out myself and play through both of them. I'm really excited on the Necromancer. I'm about to sit here and like read this with a telescope and like see all the little details there is to Necro. Really excited for Necro. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please drop a like and a sub. It helps me out so much and I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Augie now. Run free. And dive into the sky Hear the wind Crying